I start every, is this, is this, we haven't got a fancy intro this week, but that is generally how I start every video. Just, I like the ears loud as well. Look nice. Thanks. This is August graduates. Welcome back to the School of Calisthenics. We'd like to showcase and feature the incredible achievements of our students across the world. And Jacko very well, very beautifully. People, puts people have been sending them in, and we get yeah. excited, and we put them in a little folder on the, and then we upload them, and then hopefully some of these, Tim hasn't actually seen I've maybe away. we'll see we'll see we'll I've see so, so uh, of my i'm trying to remember i did this about a week ago that um there's a couple of beauties in there yeah, be littered with virtual classroom graduates by the way all the good gains after people making serious gains inside the virtual classroom there you go tim look we're up what there like up in the we've taken corner. Our, yeah our, our, our spots on our some. first graduate as i said a member of the virtual classroom plus press play let's and you're gonna it. let's watch his this name guy, will come up on the screen. Ruben has been getting some gains in recently. Yeah. I keep seeing it. Check out the, uh, just to note, the, the painting clothes. Yeah. I don't think this was even a training session. This was a, I've just been painting all day. Let's just see what I've got in the locker. Let's see what's happening. See sometimes. what's cooking. Frog. It's a handstand. The control. He has gone oh. so slow, trusted the process and not rushed any part of his training. Little flash of the abs. Inevitable when you don't tuck your t-shirt in and handstand. He's a drummer, Ruben. Yeah. Very good one. Look at that. Well, he's going to be doing handstands to celebrate his uh, drumming. And a Key one. Can I make a quick coaching yeah, point? Yeah, because that nice. is absolutely brilliant. Is this bit here. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Exactly that one. This bit here, when he just, you can see when he lifts the knees off, this is a bit that so, so many people struggle with, is when you have to keep that shoulder and the elbow locked. Well, not locked out, but you just don't want to see yeah. the hips drop. So he doesn't see his elbows bend as he comes through. It's just, it takes There's a moment, no, yeah. it stays high. That yeah. is the crux to this movement. There's literally nothing other than just that hip rotation. Nothing else is moving. Yeah. Um, he's solid. Started super high in his, his frog stand, which is going to help. Making the corrections as he goes. Textbook yeah. this one, Jacko. Yeah, he's got, but then I can't emphasize enough that he's, he's not, he's took, a, he's took his time over and he's not rushed that process at all. Let's, Let's enjoy this bit again. Get in there. <laughs> Good lad. Oh, I remember seeing this one. I was excited when this one came through. I have seen, yeah, seen this one. This one. is uh, Claire. Nice okay, Crocs. Up. Look at it. For days. Sticks it. Look at the fingers. And this, I was like, as she paused it, all day. On a carpet All well. day. I mean, obviously, All actually, day. it's not one of the tools of the locker, but if you had a particularly soft carpet, that would make balance more difficult. If you had a shag pile, for example, <laughs> yeah. that would be more difficult. It's difficult to tell from the, the video whether... Um, Do you know what that's called, What type of... Science is an proprioceptively enriched environment. Uh, I, I was going to talk to you about the, um, <laughs> the, the fabric of the, the, the weave of oh, the... Well, um, next level. The, well, potentially. But it's, yeah, on, for... This is so she backs over. <laughs> you need this one. Backs up her, her, like her standard handstand, starts to now get a little bit of uh, flare going and listen out for the commentary. Get the, get the volume up. Can on I just there. ask one question? Is yeah. that a, um, a tan colored yoga mat or has she just been to Asda and got a cardboard box to practice on? <laughs> not You'd have to ask sure you. which what that is. Surely not. Well done. Oh, oh, nailed it. Wait. Sticks it. Oh, hello. Stag. <laughs> <laughs> love that seal of approval from your mate you don't need any more that she knew it was good before she came down but it just hammered it home um you need you need, you need a pro bro don't you yeah Whatever the female um, version of a pro bro is i think it's a pro bro yeah so yeah um claire let us know who your friend was as yeah. well now this one i saw a while back matt yoga teacher yeah virtual classroom extraordinaire how many uh, yoga teachers are nailing their back lever? Absolutely loving the door frame setup, getting it done. Drops up, starts high. Feet on the ceiling. Go on, level out, chest level out. Mat. Bingo. Smashed it. Lovely line. Yeah, very Lovely nice. straight line. He was pleased with that Control one. Control on the way down. really well. Yeah. Added some strength in. Excellent work. Yeah. Proud of that one. So, now, so there's some full graduations. Some, a frog handstand, a handstand, a back lever. Now um, a step along the along the journey, Dr. Peewee, um, who has done a frog to handstand, but she's working on a straight arm press and beautifully using a little red band. We should know that's the Instagram name for Madelon, Dr. Yeah. Peewee. We just know her as Dr. Peewee. Everyone knows her as Dr. Peewee. She's a beast. 
Absolute machine when she come. Yeah, so this is. I like keeping this. Keeping the arms one. locked out. Using the band for a little bit of uh, feedback as to where the vertical is. Gets a nice vertical trunk, and then really yeah, yeah. building the strength, using that band to help with that eccentric arm still staying straight. I mean, arguably with that one, Jacko, she's making it like harder than it necessarily needs to be because she's actually in a top basically punch. exactly. So you think what's she's going to get her press the handstand out of that, but she's probably going to get some carry over to it. Like you think of your planch training, you mm. did so much of getting up into your handstand like that, controlling on the way down. I put out a post actually this uh, last week where I've been doing loads of like just when doing my frog, normal frog handstands and maybe trying to do some handstand pushups, but forgetting about that. I've not just just not done it in ages. Coming down from a from your frog handstand, coming back down to See frog. a frog and just building some of that yeah. eccentric strength and control. And going, was, you've got a full, rather than just doing effectively half a rep, actually doing the full thing. That's what I was going to say, because you've got like head a long way in front of the shoulders there. Yeah. So she's actually starting off with like this, this line angle here, pretty like it's a fair way off. And then particularly you notice it on the, on the eccentric. So that's a nice little control balance position. But coming back down here, you could actually allow yourself to bend your knees back around. Just like let the spine yeah, kind of them. flex into it because you're lowering down. And as you go into that bottom position with the, with the legs out or the back staying relatively sort of flat. It's putting quite a lot of, it's sort of hard, but when you said that, practice it like that, you're going to build way more strength if you can control it like Madelon can and yeah. you're going to get carryover. So yeah, more than one way to uh, skin a cat, is that the right? Yeah, yeah, more than one way to frog to handstand. No, well, Peel yeah. a banana? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay. Animal rights will be on about skinning cats again. <laughs> um, but a step, along, a step along the journey and um, a, a good use of the assistance tool, which is one of the progressions now, in the Scorecast Nights virtual classroom. Scotty Too Hotty. Yeah. Not his full name. And not actually the real Scotty Too Hotty. Not from, from WWE. From 90s fame. <laughs> yeah. The Grandmaster Sex A. But it's for as a, a, a friend from Down Under. Looks like a flag. Boom. That was, that, that was, that, I'm not claiming those that uh, educator uh, edit skills. But then what I love is that readjustment back up. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. go back and play that again. You see that he gets out there before, after the... Just loses yeah. it for a second just here. Cranks that hip back on. Yeah. Let's play it back through. When it drops down and that to pull back up. Yeah. So Building all... that strength in that top sling. To keep that hip connected uh, to here. the shoulders, yeah, yeah. You yeah. Know, to get that hip back up, you just got to crank in hard from the shoulder, and that allows you then to shorten that chain. Is it? It's you don't see many a finer flag in terms of like how straight that position was. Good work, Scotty. Now yeah. then, Mr. Ollie Dyer. This is a local. So Ollie has literally been doing, started his calisthenics journey virtually the same time yeah. we did. Yeah, um, done a so few different things along the way, done some fitness competitions, and also had a fairly bad um, back injury. So this is a massive yeah, and, and wrist. He's had a wrist and he's had a number of injuries. Strong and guy, Ollie. Um, but had to, to work quite hard for the controlling. He wanted five handstand push-ups. Yeah. That's what he told me at the beginning of the year. So tuned down in the garden. The three. three. Fighters. Four. Big arm. He was happy with that one. Yeah, you got to you got to be happy. Got to have that. Um, and then just max it going uh, going deep into those. There's a lot of people have been like building from there. I know for a lot of people like frog stand feels impossible, but once you've done that, and then you try and do a frog handstand, and once you can do a frog handstand, the same reason you started to do a handstand in the first place was I don't want to just do a handstand. No. I want to do handstand push-ups because like we just seen there, they're badass. Exactly. So Christopher Saunders, virtual classroom member. Strong it's guy, Chris. Also, well. seriously strong. Went from sort of powerlifting, weightlifting, bodybuilding into calisthenics a couple of years ago. Look at the and height. Strength is that line. not a problem. Keeping the hips up. That's the biggest thing. You can keep your hips high in that handstand push up. You're going to be all right because you can see that line. Like sometimes you'll find you just go on this, this diagonal to make it a little bit easier, but you're staying super straight there. And then just as he starts that last rep, you can just see that squeezing them out. Hips drop a little bit, pushes backwards, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's actually, that last unbelievable the, effort. The last rep does show you as soon as all the other reps, hips, as you said, stayed high, and then just that last one pushed back. Just push and they just go, but as soon as they go backwards, 
and you know you're coming down, but you've already, if you're Chris, you've already just bashed out three or four handstand push-ups, so you're already a badass. And hence the importance of need of that stability and strength in overhead positions for your handstands, which is largely for your handstand balance, but also for your handstand push-ups. If you can keep that shoulder um, in a full flexion position or as, as much as it needs to be able to, you're not going to find that you then get that, that slight change in body angle. So uh, unbelievable work from the graduates. This one a very high standard this month. Yeah, the uh, people, um, as I said, like Chris there, uh, a, a virtual classroom uh, member and has been from from the beginning actually and been following us for a while and people that are they're redefining their impossible and then they're redefining their impossible again because one impossible turns into another turns into another so whether you're starting out with your first ever frog stand whether you're somewhere along the way using one of the progressions or a band or whether you're doing full-on uh handstand push-ups or whatever else it is that you're doing we are um, one celebrating and applauding you and two, here to help you along the way and uh, just want to celebrate that with you all. So unbelievable work, guys. If you want to feature on next month's graduates, all you've got to do is send us your videos. You can send them to um, reception at schoolofcalisthenics.com or you can tag us on them on um, social media platform. Yeah, tag us in social or send them in direct messages, however you want to get hold of us. Um, and we will feature a selection and remember the Love rules. It don't have to be perfect. You, get, you choose how you want to move. So if it's a movement that you've been working on and you're proud of it, share it with us because it is inspirational and motivational to everybody else who's watching. It's not just about making Jack and I feel good that you can do some stuff. We actually want to share that and inspire the whole community to continue to push forwards and redefine our impossible. I'm looking forward to when we get to be on it again. Yeah, I'm actually Have you redefined your awesome. impossible recently? Well, you've your I've actually got one on the go. My uh, straddle from the floor. Press the handstand uh, yes, from the floor. That will be a nice one to celebrate. Um, I currently haven't found out that I have the weakest hip flexors. <laughs> I think Jack has got better hip flexor strength than me at the moment. How far off the floor are you getting? Oh, not. Okay. But I can pancake, and that's step one. I'm, yeah. on, I'm on picking the process, but for me to do that, it feels pretty impossible at the moment, but I, tr I know that it's not. It's just a matter of I've got to do some work. But I'm gonna, I am going to feature myself, and then that will be good commentary. <laughs> yeah, <it's> good. <laughs> Until next time. Class dismissed. Thank <laughs> you.